Rider provides loads of ways to navigate more efficiently across both your web code base and the IDE itself. Let's take a look at some of them. Here I have a React app generated with Create React App. I want to find the app.js file in it. I could open the project tool window and look for app.js, but if I had a large code base, it would take longer than I want it to. Instead, I'm going to press Shift Shift and look for that file using Search Everywhere. The Search Everywhere feature lets us find any file, action, class, or symbol, and shows all the matches in one place. If you want to see only files or actions in the search results, you can press Tab and switch from All to the tab that you need. Alternatively, you can go to Navigate File or use a dedicated shortcut for it. Now that I've opened the file, what else can I do with it? First, I can find a specific piece of information in it and jump straight to it using Command or Control F. For a larger scale search targeted in part of my project, such as the SRC directory, I can use the Find in Path functionality. I can look in the selected subdirectory, the entire project, a module or a specific scope. This Find in Path menu has many useful ways to narrow down your search. Case sensitive, file name filters, regular expressions, and more. At the bottom, you can have a quick peek into files without opening them in the editor. Now let's say I want to check where a symbol was declared or look for its usages. I can focus on that symbol and click Command or Control, plus B and voila! The file opens with the cursor on the definition of the symbol. Now, what if I want to go back to a file I recently opened? There's the Recent Files pop-up that can help with that. On its right, you can see the list of recently opened files that you can quickly jump to. On the left, there's a list of tool windows. Let's use the speed search to narrow the list of choices to structure and explore one of the more helpful navigation features. The structure tool window can be very handy for examining a file quickly. It provides an overview of its structure and lets you jump to a specific item by simply typing its name. That's it for some of the ways to navigate around WebStorm. If you want to remember only one thing from this video, it should definitely be Search Everywhere, as it will let you gradually learn about the other WebStorm features. For more navigation tips and tricks, explore the WebStorm guide at jetbrains.com slash webstorm slash guide slash topic slash navigation.